Hi everyone, this is Amy from Chilling with Amy Paint and Canvas and today I'm actually going to show you how to, how I would paint anyhow, my Easter Bunny for the uh, vintage truck that I do. Um, so I'm going to show you here. Um, this is, this is the vintage truck here and this is the insert that's in it uh, right now is the Christmas tree. And I'm going to, um, I made these, um, you can buy them as a kit, but I made them so that you can add the, the inserts to them. The lighting is terrible. Um, so that you can add the inserts to them. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to paint the bunny rabbit for Easter. And, um, I will insert that in there, but, um, it, of course, you can paint them any way, any way you like, but um, I'm going to show you my version of it. And we're just going to kind of go on there, and then I'll put it on a, a group where I did the vintage truck so that you always have that. Okay. I'm going to switch over here so that you can see this. And oh, Gretchy, they'll come popped in. And um, I'm using StreamYard, uh, StreamYard.com, so if you want to comment, it'll show your name and your picture uh, profile pic. Um, otherwise, it'll just come up Facebook user, and I really won't know who's talking. So if, if you don't mind, if you'd approve that. Um, so these are pre-traced. As you can see, the pattern's already on there. I used to do them where you had to trace them yourself, but I started to change that out a little bit. And I think I'm just going to start here. Um, let me take a, a round brush here. And this is a number eight round brush. It's a little bit larger. Um, and I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to start with putting in the color of my bunny rabbit because I, I can add the other colors. And as I go, I don't want to lose lose that. Now, when you paint on these, all your light colors will show, <clears throat> those tracing lines will show still. So you don't have to worry about that. And I always take and paint like all my edges. You don't have to paint the back. You can if you want, but um, I just paint the edges, parts that's going to show. Because if you put it against um, a wall or um, hanging on your door or, you know, shelf or whatever, uh, the back typically is not going to show, but the sides might. So you want to go ahead and paint, paint that. So I'm painting around his ears here, just putting. I'm going to make mine uh, white with the pink ears and everything. Um, you could paint yours certainly any color you wanted, blue or brown, whatever you know color you think the Easter Bunny is. In my my world, the uh, Easter Bunny has always been white. Maybe that's just because that's what I grew up seeing all the time. I don't know. But I like white bunnies. Okay. My dog has joined me for our uh, live video, so I'll shut, the, shut the door here. <sighs> My dog Gretchen, she likes to join me in here. of a chilly day, but the hubs is still going out golfing. I got the day off, so I'm going to catch up on a lot of painting. So I got around his ears, and I'm just going to put a little bit more and you can let that dry and come back, put like a second coat on there if you want. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to go ahead and paint my ears. Now I'm not worried if I go over these lines, but if you, if you are, you can just do like this, you know, paint around, but it's hard to see on this video, but um, I can still see the faint lines where I traced it. 
that ear. And also you can kind of make it your own too. I just wanted to get the white in here and where I'm going to have that. Now his little white toes, the hair sticking out. I'm going to keep my paint strokes going the way that his. Um, the curve of his body or his ears are going. And I might make his toes just a little bit uh, different shade initially, um, like maybe hit some blues or, or brown even in there. And then that way when I paint the white, on top, <clears throat> it'll show up different from his face because his face is pretty much all white. So I'm just painting around his toes and that one egg there. Paint right on over my sketches there. Because I can still see him. Like I said, I don't think you can see it on here. I don't think my um you can kind of see it there a little bit if it focus, but uh, the the sketch shows through that white paint. Okay, and then he has, of course, I have him having a nice, cute little white tail. You don't need to paint, and don't really want to paint down here where this slides through your truck because. It's going to make it, um, these are made specifically to slide in your truck, that insert. And if you add a bunch of paint or, uh, or of course, if they're loose and you want them to not slide as easily, you could add it, a um, little Velcro or something like that to make them not uh, slide around or something. But I've made them where they slide pretty easily in and out of there. Allowed a little extra space for the hanging wire on there. Um, so you're going to find, if you're not hanging it up, you might find it a little bit looser. But then it won't matter if you're not hanging on the door if it's a little loose because you can just set it the way you want and, and it'll be fine. And got those, his big old feet. And I what I will do is also will outline... I like to outline mine. Probably going to put a little white in there. That little spot there. But I'll do some outlining with black. Because um, it's not going to be realistic bunny. It's, you know, more character than anything. But So I'm just filling in, like I said, filling in all my white first. So I'll add a little blue for this. Like I said, his little fingers sticking over there. I call them fingers and the paws, but he caught himself a ride on the vintage truck for delivering all them Easter eggs. Now, if you happen to jump on, just, you know, um, comment there and give me a hello so I know you join. And like I said, I'm going to put this uh, video, I will post it later after we do this. I'm going to put it in the, the group of the vintage truck. So for those who bought the vintage truck kits, you'll be able to go into the group and watch the video if you want the ones that have bought the actual bunny rabbits. Um, can go in there and watch the video and see how I did it and get your own ideas of how you want to do it. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of this is some blues. <clears throat> I have a nice um, 
I got some bright red for the, I'm going to mix with white for the pink. I have a little uh, Caribbean blue, and I just use these apple barrel paints, but you can use folk arts, uh, any brand you want, really. Um, some of them are a little bit better, um, not as thin or something, so that's kind of your, your choice there. And now I'm going to need some green, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little green on my palette here. Don't need a lot of... Um, a lot of paint, got a little bit of spring green and Christmas green. Maybe uh, I know I definitely always like to have a little purple in there. And we're gonna need some orange, or we can make orange either one. You can do gold, silver eggs, whatever kind you know you want. I'm just gonna pop in, pop some colors out there, have them ready. So <clears throat> I'm gonna switch over to a smaller round brush. Can use a liner brush if you want. I've just got a number two round brush here, and I'm going to switch to that for when I do these um, these little fingers there. I need a little uh, my white paint, but I'm going to take a touch of that. Take some of that Caribbean blue. Okay, so I want it to be just a little different than his face color and then I will put white over it. I said well I'll line it with black but this will also make it his little toes show up a little better. When that dries then I'll pop over it with some white. Or you can make them a little bit towards the pink side or brown or like I said whatever color you want. Putting that on his little fingers. He's reaching over, grasping hold of his eggs, holding his eggs on that truck so they don't fall off for the truck ride. So I got that little bit of blue. I might put a little hint of the blue right around the bottoms of his feet there. <clears throat> just before that tail. Kind of separate that a little bit. And then just at the bottom. I'm going to do a little couple little strokes here in the middle. Some blue. So that white will kind of stand out a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to clean up my brush, get that blue out. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of that white over here and just a touch of that red for a nice pink color. More white. And how pink you want it, that's going to be certainly up to you. I'm going to try it and see what we like about this, if this is pink enough. I think I'd like to have a little bit more darker pink, so I'm going to add a little bit more red to it. And one thing on the acrylics too, so I'm going to turn this upside down, make it a little bit easier on myself, but um, the acrylics will dry pretty fast, but they also dry a little bit darker than what you're putting on. So if you want something um, kind of light and you put it on and you think, oh, that's, that's perfect on the lightness. It might dry just a tad darker. Um, well, they typically do, but it's some things it's worse than others. But so you, on your colors, like if you, if you want something like this pink, I want it, want it a little bit darker. I made it a little darker, but if I want it even more, I'm going to let it dry because it's probably going to get a little shade darker, which is probably about what I want. Now, <clears throat> of course, you can always go in and add more or like, you know, lighten it up however you want. I think that's going to be a good paint color for it. That's the inside of his little ears. And then I'm going to take my uh, bunny. You can make your bunny's nose whatever color you want. I'm going to take some of that same pink color. I'm going to go in here and paint his nose. 
You could outline these in black first if you wanted. Um, but I thought, well, I'll get the pink on my brush. I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. I'm going to rinse out my brush again. Make sure I get all the water out of it. Now you can take um, the liner brush, which is um, either you got a short one and then some of them are long. I kind of like the shorter one. And um, get some of that black. A little bit of black on there. And we're gonna pay, I'm going to take that liner brush and get a little bit of that black. Make sure I don't have any drippy water from it. And just going to go in here and got to kind of get up close and see where my lines were for his little eyes. And again, if you, you know, for some reason you can't see it, you can always just add them in. But if you're worried, like I said, about the lines being covered up, then just um, paint around, you know, paint around and save the lines. Just don't paint on the lines. And again, you can always change them. So, yeah. And I got him, got his eyes down here at the bottom because he's kind of looking down at his eggs. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the pupils of his eyes. I'm going to fill them in uh, with the black. And then we'll put a little highlight, um, highlight on his eyes to finish that. Then we got his little mouth here, comes up like this, just whoops, whoops, like that. And we got uh, this little bunny guy, he's got some cute little teeth right here. So this is just kind of how I did those. Oops, put my finger in the paint there, it's not quite dry. So touch up my little paint here. I, That. If you want to let it dry a little bit more, you could do that before you, but I just touch that up. Okay. So I got that, um, the face in there, and then he's got, I'm going to make his little whiskers, and I'm just going to make them black. And he's got three over here. Cute little whiskers and, and don't worry if um, they get a little off or something that's fine and I'm just gonna put a couple little little black dots right there and the cute and there where's little whiskers and stuff cheeks and you could put, put little rosy cheeks in there too if you wanted to but it's probably pretty good there Okay, then um, I'm going to go back and put a little bit of that white on his uh, little fingers here. I'm not covering the entire blue like I'm kind of leaving the edges. And of course, we're going to do black around the edges. So. Uh, it really don't matter on that. But. <clears throat> now you can let him dry up a little bit more, or um, if you wanted to put more paint on there, you could. If you want more white or something on there, and one of the things uh, I do when I do get these completely dry, then I take and there's a, a clear acrylic sealer that you can use. Um, Walmart sells it; it's like three something a can. But you want to get the one that says specifically non-yellowing. There's a varnish one as well. Um, it makes it a little bit shinier, but um, if you don't want it so shiny or something, the other one even shows little paint brushes on the can. I think it's Cryon uh, brand, but um, it's a matte finish, so it'll kind of keep it all no shiny spots on there for you. So now um, I'm going to let those kind of dry a little more before I go and try to put all the lines 
you know, around or the highlights in his little eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and start filling in some of the egg colors. And again, you can color in um, these egg colors, any, any, you know, anything you want. And you can um, also design them the way you want. I have sketched on suggested designs and they're just that suggested. Um, I, uh, I paint them, you know, whatever color you want. And I'm going to do, I'm going to put in some white and red again to make another pink um, color. Because I'm going to have at least one egg. It's going to be kind of pink. So, and then you just kind of decide where you want to put these, these certain colors. Um, I'm going to start right down here by his foot. Down here at the bottom, there's an egg down here. And I'm going to put in some pink there. And again, you don't have to cover your lines. And that little space is in between, like his, his foot and, and this egg. I would just make it white. And that's just the space in between. So I'll show his little fur a little bit. And then, like I said, we'll, we'll also do those lines. Okay, so we've got a pink one. This is where you can run several brushes or you just keep rinsing out the one. And we know we're going to have a purple. Um, if you like them to be more pastel in color, you can add a little more white to it. That's kind of like what I, I, I think I would like. Um, it's a little bit, a little bit dark there, but we'll go with that one. And the next one I'll make a little bit lighter because now I'll probably have, I'm going to have another, another purple. There we go. Let's put this purple one, let's put this one right in the middle. It's that egg right there in the middle. And you can use your liner brush. I'm using a little uh, small filbert brush here, but it's just curved on the edge. But a liner brush or even a small flat brush would work. Just putting in my colors. So we have a little purple there. Who knows? We might have more purple when we get done here. I like purple. Uh, we got some orange. And again, if you want them a little more towards the pastel or lighter, just add a little bit of white. And I think we'll put the orange one right here. And these ones on the very edge of your painting. These ones you're going to want to paint the outer edge here. I need some, a little more orange here. So I'm going to paint that outer edge here. Match the egg we're painting there. Now this, these cutouts that I do, I, I make them myself and design them and then cut them out um, uh, on a scroll saw. And um, I use a little bit thicker wood than most of the cutouts that you, you see that you can buy offline. A lot of them use the MDF wood and it's usually uh, like an eighth inch thick or something like that. Um, this is a typical, um, basically it's a one... Well, it's a little shy of one inch. They don't, that's not a true inch, but that's what I use is the one inch board. And um, I just I just like working with that a little bit better um, than mean. It's still it's pine, so it's still in the lighter wood. It's not real heavy. And then I make my insert uh, slide right there. A couple solves for that. So I put some orange in there. And again, this is the fun part of your creativeness and your color choices. You know, whatever colors you think you might like, you know, you just put them in there. So maybe this one, let's make this one. You can even put a white egg in there and then just color it with different colors over top of it. I'm going to put some of that Caribbean blue in here. And we don't need to paint that bottom there. It's going to go down in the truck, so we don't really need that. I think he's going to have another 
blue, but we're going to lighten it up a bit. Give some a little more light. And you can have a navy blue. I've got a bright blue over here. I think I'll pop in that one. Do that. Let's make that over here. Paint that in. And I've got some nice um, spring green here. So I think we can put a little, let's put a little spring green one in here. And put that one right in here underneath his little toes. And this one I might switch over to that liner brush, I think. So I can get around here. You don't see all of that one because it's under his tail hides a little bit of it and his fingers are grasping and the other eggs it's all they're all just piled up there he's ready to go got, got that delivery to go <laughs> okay and i went with the fun easter one i know uh easter is not really about easter bunnies but um i just went with that for a fun little one. Maybe down the road I might do another one more towards the religious side, but um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so we got a little green one there. Let's, let's pop our green one over here. This is a pretty big egg. It's kind of that one I want to paint. That little hump on the edge there is just going to be like an egg hidden on the edge. So we'll paint that a different color. But and This one's on the edge, so we want to um, <clears throat> make sure that we get over here on the edge and paint that same color for that egg. So again, you just paint them how, you know, whatever colors you want and then the designs and stuff. You can still kind of see the markings that I made um, for the designs, but again, you can, you can decide. Okay. And you can paint some, you know, like we do with the eggs. We, we do half green and, you know, half blue or something like that. You just get, you know, kind of crazy with it. Have fun. Have fun with it. I think I'm going to paint this very edge over here of that one, a lighter version of that green I just did. And then I'm going to take some of this bright blue just because that's my choice, and I'm going to paint this little edge here and this little bit right here. Paint that that bright blue. It's just a little tiny egg sticking barely out of the truck. You can barely see that one. All right, yellow. We did not pour any yellow. Got to have some yellow. Easter's not Easter without yellow. What's your What's your favorite colors? Uh, Comment, comment and, and uh, tell me what your favorite colors are for Easter eggs. If you have certain colors, I think between the purple and the yellows, those are kind of kind of mine. I think that, and I'm going to put this yellow. And your yellow, um, sometimes you have to paint a little white or something on the the wood first, or you can mix it with the yellow. And then you're going to have to probably do another uh, coat of the yellow before it'll cover that really well. Be, be nice and bright and stuff like you want to. Okay. 
And I got that little tiny spot in there. I'm going to make white. A bit of the bunny there. Okay. And then this one here, there's a little spot right there. I'm going to make a little bit of that light blue. Right in here, same way there. That little bit of light Caribbean blue is what I'm putting in there. This one right here. Move that out a little bit. So go ahead and fill in those little spots. Let's make this the white there in between those. I'm going to make them a little bit more of that darker blue. Let's section that out a little bit more. There we go. I like that a little bit better. All right. So let's see. I want more of that. Definitely going to want some more yellows um, in there. Some more of that white. Let's put a yellow right up in here. The fun part about you know these being pre-traced is you can just basically are going in and filling in the colors that you want. And if you if you cover the pattern and then you can't quite get it the way you want, just uh, go back in and watch the video again. Like I said, I'm gonna put that under my vintage truck here after I get done. So it'll be in there for everybody that's got the vintage truck. Um, but you can go back in and watch that over and over so that if you miss the pattern and you don't remember how that was, you can go back in, watch it, see it, and then put it back in your, your painting. But this is pretty pretty simple pattern, so I think you're going to be fine. I don't think we're going to have any problems there. Now... The decision on the bright red, I'm kind of going more pastel, so I'm really thinking I'm not going to want it totally like straight bright red. Got to add a little bit of that, a little bit of that um, white to it. Yeah, it's going to be more of a, what do you call that, magenta pink or something? Or... Yeah, more in there. Let's see. Let's come over here and we'll put one. This one here. Take more paint on the brush. And this one we got paint up around the edges. It's on the edge where it'll show. So I'm getting too far back there. I don't mean to get so far back there. Just paint around that edge. That's going to show on your... When you put it up. Okay. All right. So we've got one there. And we're going to have to... I'm kind of one of these equal out kind of people. I think, okay, well, i got got them there and there. I'm going to have to have one over here somewhere. So I think this one here is going to be... little section right there shows. 
We're going to have to paint the edges on this one. This one actually shows in three different edges, so one more paint here. Like I said, you could use that bigger brush or, you know, stick with the liner, you know, whatever works for you. Get all the cracks in there. Again, some more colors here. Got one more of that purple. I'll put one right up here, I think. You could paint your eggs if you wanted. You could just paint them a solid color and be done. Or you could add little polka dots and stripes or, you know, whatever whatever you want. That's going to be up to you. I think I'll probably add um, a few polka dots and stripes here and there of different colors. Just a touch of water to my paintbrush there. My paint was drying and wasn't spreading out very good. Didn't cover very good. All right, so I need to get a little more white there on my palette. And I'm going into that bright blue. I'm going to make me some more white, add white to it. And I'm going to make me some nice blue, light blue color. And I think I'm going to pop it in right over here. Got one little spot right here, I think. I'll put one here. Right there around his tail. This foot. Okay. And hmm, maybe we might just make this one blue too. finger things there so yeah. just touched him up a little bit with that white again I mean you could wait until we do the black but I'm just gonna go ahead and put in some white there at the edges there Shoot those toenails. Okay. Uh, let's see. I got uh, need some more yellows. It looks like. I mean, again, you can whatever colors you want. I'm gonna put in like a nice big yellow one over here on this edge here. We get all kinds of crazy color in Easter eggs and stuff. We get all crazy color in them and do all kinds of little crazy things with them. Squeaklies and, you know, paint porn and whatever. Sometimes we just get so crazy we'd end up with black eggs. They'd be all black because time we mixed everything and 
trying different colors. We'd have so many, we'd end up with black. So then we'd just paint over them with something else, but or collar them with something else. Okay, it's got a nice yellow there. Um, let's see. Yeah, gonna end up with another purple, I think. Because I think I'm gonna need one over here. Right in this area here. You can make them kind of swirly looking. You know, your, your colors. Take some of that. Take some of that white in there with your purple and just don't mix it all the way. It kind of gives it a little swirly texture. Um, you can do that. Okay, so this one here, I think we're going to go, I'm going to go a little bit darker green with this one and a little bit of that, that spring green. I don't want it really dark because most of my colors are a little more towards the pastel color. I'm going to paint that over here. Again, if you happen to um, catch this uh, video, um, comment, let me know. Let's say hi, but... Also, um, let me know what your favorite colors are um, for Easter eggs and stuff. What's it? What colors make you think more of Easter than than others? You know, I, I kind of tend to go towards the purple and the yellow, like like those. They're all nice, but. Just painting around these edges. Okay, we're just kind of filling in the colors. We got it looks like one Easter egg left to color. What color should I paint that one? I wonder. Hmm. It's looking pretty colorful there. Oh, it's got some pinks and stuff and purples. Hmm. Thinking he's probably another paint, a light pink, probably in there. That one over here. So I can get in there in between. So. All right, so we got the base colors in of all of them. And like I said, the yellows, you know, if you want your yellows to be a little bit brighter, um, add a little more paint to them. Um, I added some white to mine to make them a little bit of a bright yellow, but also to cover that a little bit. Uh, but I definitely going to need to put some more of this yellow in here. Um, so it shows up really good. Just a little bit over here. It's not too bad. Okay. And we got this one right here in the middle. A little more yellow in there. Okay. There. All right. I'm going to let them dry a little bit in the meantime. 
I'm going to go in with my little wire brush and going to take some black and just outline like we was talking about. Um, going to start up here like I'm going to start with maybe this here since I'm right handed and use my little pinky over there on the edge but just put a nice thin black line outlining this ear the inner part of his ears so right over here with this one ball of paint over there just outlining the edges and this makes it pop out a little bit more um you know it shows a little bit more and then i'm going to go around his nose a little bit try not to try to put my finger under here instead of on top like i did last time just lightly when you're doing these little lines you just kind of lightly touch your brush on there you just want the point point of it and of course if your point's off like mine was just a little bit I'm gonna get a little bit spread there but okay and I'm got his little nose and then if you twirl your brush a little bit it gives that point back a little bit and then I'm gonna go around his little toes here So you're going to make them pop out a little bit and, and everything's going to show a little bit better. And then we can work our way around his feet and eventually you know um you can outline pretty much all of it right now um some of those eggs are still a little bit wet so i'm not gonna tempt those just yet i'll do them after here and probably after we uh, decide what our designs are on them A little bit extra there, but that's all right. Down here. Table right there. And then in here, um, we had, and again, if you painted around them, um, if you was afraid to lose them, that's fine. You can barely see them here, but just enough to know. We have little prints here. And this one was kind of like, like so. And the same way over here, um, go around the edges. I'm gonna go around his tail real quick here. Don't want to lose those. Okay. And then same thing over here. We have the little brush here, straighten it out a little bit. So he's got his little feet pads on there, <laughs> as you call them. And like I said, I'm going to let the eggs them dry a little more before I outline them. But 
we can go in and um, put the highlights on the bunny first, the parts that destroy the pink and stuff. Turn out that brush good. And for that, I'm actually going to go with that number two round brush. I'm going to hit just uh, first, I'm going to just hit a little bit of white and um, go a little bit on my tip of my brush, and I'm just going to put a little little highlight right here, one right there, and this little nose, let's put a little bit there, and the, um, on his pink ears here, so I'll put a little bit, you don't have to put, you know, this really isn't even necessary, but I like to put just a little bit of streak of white there, and um, we got his little paws done. Let's keep your hand. If you had too much black somewhere, you could always um, touch it up. I'm going to take a little, just a teeny little bit of that light blue. Add a little more white to it. Kind of flatten my brush just a little bit. And I'm just going to put a little swoosh like this under the bottom of his eyes. It just kind of gives a little more depth there on his eye. All right. And then, of course, the fun part. Let's decorate some eggs. Let's, you know, decorate the way we want, want them to do. And one of the ones, I this purple one up here, make sure I don't have any excess water on my brush. Wipe it off on the towel. I wanted polka dots. So I'm just going to go in and put some polka dots in here on this one. Okay. And then while I've got that, is there any other ones that I maybe wanted polka dots on? And got this one here. Oh, let's put some polka dots on it. Many as you want, big as you want. Maybe you want big round polka dots. Like on this red one here. Let's, let's go a little bit bigger. And however many you want. Maybe there's a little bit, like a half a circle here because it's hiding underneath that other, other egg. Maybe a little bit right here. And now we got to put one right here. Okay. Now you can go and put them on the sides of your eggs if you want. Like if you look over here and this one's got the white dots um, on it. If you want to put like on the sides of your egg, you can go ahead and do that. Because I mean, it's going to show if you want to do that. You can. I'm just putting some of my hair off on the sides. This is the one with a little bit bigger one. So. And then up here on this purple one, I just had little little white dots on it. So I'm going to pop in some white dots on it. There. Okay, that just kind of, I think that shows a little bit there. And then, uh, let's see. Um, up here on the, the red one here, I'm going to take some of that white. I want it a little bit pink, but I want it mostly white. And I'm just going to load my brush with some of that. And right there where I got some little ziggy lines, I'm going to come in here. And you could do like multicolored lines if you wanted to. I'm just going to come in and pop in some lines here. Okay. And I'm not going to go around the edges on that on the zig, zig lines. I don't think I'm going to do that. And up here we have a nice orange one. Um, let's see if I can get some nice bright yellow. I'm going to try and put a nice yellow 
stripes on it. And that one. This uh, green one over here on the end, kind of where I had that light blue. Add a little more white to it. I want it really super light. And I'm going to put in some, like a light mint green stripe there. one I'm going to add this and that purple add a little white to it light purple and I'm going to put on this green one here I'm going to put some purple line right there and I'm going to take a little bit of that Caribbean blue we're getting a little crazy with this one It's got a little bit of white in it too, but okay. So that light purple almost looks pink in that green. It's kind of pretty. So I'll get a little bit more of that purple on the bottom. So this is where you can do more colors if you want. You can change them up however you want. Okay, so just put a little zigzags in that one. <clears throat> Got some more. I'll put a little polka dots in here on this one. This one's a lot of polka dots. Got a lot. Okay. I got that white on there. I think I'm gonna go over here and put some white lines here. Got a little hint of the pink mixed in there, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with that. I've got a pink on it on that blue one. I'm going to take some of that red. And I think I'm going to go in here on this orange one here. I'm going to put some red dots on it. Okay. Just a little, get that a little bit. And then this pink one down here, uh, I think I'm going to go with the red on it as well, but we're going to do just red stripes, like so. And the yellow, I'm going to take some orange. Uh, this yellow one, I think I'm just going to do some stripes. You can do double stripes, single stripes, wide stripes, like Fill that in, make it nice and wide, a bit wider on this one, or like again, however you want to do them. And over here on this one here, got some more. And again, like I said, you can make them plain if you want to just make them plain colors, or you can decorate them. One way of de decorating Easter eggs without actually doing all that mixing colors and vinegar and all that stuff, or tablets or whatever you use. Okay, I'm going to go to a little dark green, I think, over here on this yellow one. And I'm going to put a little dark green stripes on it. If you don't like it, just you know, repaint it, change it up, however you want to do it. And then I've got a green one there, which I think I'm gonna um, actually I'm gonna touch that light blue that we had. And it's got a actually a little water. Just gonna put a couple blue stripes on it. I got another little blue one down here, which I think I'm just gonna put. Um, Maybe let's do some pink stripes on that blue one. 
some white paint. And just kind of look how the, the egg is sitting. Most of the, the ones that I put patterns on there for you is already setting you know, how the pattern would probably go. I got one over here that doesn't have anything on it. This little pink one, I'm going to just do some little white dots on it, I think. And then we got our two edge ones, which we got a white green one and a blue one over here. Yeah. Under that light purple, I think, or the blue. And just going to put a little stripe on there, a couple of stripes. Maybe just do the same thing over here. Just to indicate that they've got some kind of decoration on them. And I got a purple one up here that's got those swirls. And I think I'm going to kind of go with that, a little bit of that white with a little pink there. And I think I'm going to kind of go with the swirls. And just put some more lines going down like that. And then we got, let's see, a couple here in the middle. That red one. Let's do um, little zigzags maybe on it. Maybe a little more paint on my brush there. And then the purple one, let's put, um, mm, let's go with some light blue. I'm going to put a light blue line here. And I got a little much water. So I'll put up and get my brush all the way dry when I put it into the paint. So I'm going to put a little blue line there. I'll come down here, some more blue, and I'm going to go into some of that purple, add a little more white to it, a little white purple. Oh, it's kind of already light purple, so I guess I'm not, I don't want to do that. Let's make it a little more, so I can see it a little bit more. Um, Actually, one of the colors we don't want to mix too much, you end up with green. I want to do the yellow, I think. Let's put some yellow in there. Yeah, that, that says Easter right there, like that. There, all right. One more down here. Well, I got that yellow. I think I'm just going to go right back down here and do the same thing on this one. All right, we got them all colored in, and now one of the things here on this bunny's tail, just to kind of show you, we've got that blue in there, and you could you could put a little more of the darker blue in here like this, just to kind of indicate more of his like furs, you know, going around that circle range. Okay, and then. You can always pop in a little more. Um, if I grab the white, I thought I grabbed some yellow there. Yep, pink. Don't want that. Get my white, get my white out again. Tend to put paint all over this palette and mix them all up accidentally, but I just wanted my white. I didn't want to. I didn't want that pink. And what I'm doing is I'm putting that on putting it on pretty heavy paint. Go all the way up here to these outlines here. I want my outlines to be smoother, but I'm just laying that paint on a little bit heavier. I mean, I'm just really putting it on. What it is doing is giving you a little more 3D texture on there. There's a texture paint, uh, like a snow paint. I forget what it's called exactly, but you can get it even and add a little more textures like putting drywall plaster stuff on there but um i just take some of this paint and put it a little bit heavier and and put it in the 
the way that you want it to go. I'm covering that blue up a little bit, so I'm going to go back in the blue a little where I want it while it's a little bit wet. And you don't have to put that much blue or, you know, that's certainly up to you. If you like a little bit more just straight white. I kind of like the, I think the um, blue. Can't really say it too much on there. But that gives it just a little more texture on his tail. I kind of like that. So then all you have left now is um, take that same liner brush. Maybe thin that black paint down just a hair. You want to make sure you roll your brush. When I when I do that to get a point, you just kind of roll your brush in that paint to keep the point on your brush. And some of these places, if you want to, we can now go in and just outline. Try to keep it uh, light. Outline your your eggs. You wouldn't have to if you don't want to, but um, it just makes them pop out a little bit more. And separates them off from, say, the other eggs or around his tail or um, face and stuff. And if there's anywhere that you want to touch up, you certainly could, you know, touch that up. I'm going to do a little spot around here. Maybe here. This is like three eggs meeting right up there. And I'm just doing like around the eggs. Now you could, if you wanted to put a little black edge around there, you could. Right now I'm just kind of separating all the eggs from each other. Just turn it, turn it as I need here. what I would call our finished um, bunny insert for the truck. So I'm gonna, it's still a little bit wet, but I think I can slide it in here um, into the truck. And let me tip it back the right way here. And there we have our cute little vintage truck with the bunny. And I'm going to switch it over here. And then I can bring it up a little bit more for you. Now, is that not cute? <laughs> I love the little bunnies. And, of course, I love the trucks. But, again, you can hang it up with the wire that comes with the kit if you wanted to get a kit. Or you could just lean it against the wall or hang it on a wall even. And then when the season changes, you take them out. But that's how you paint, or I painted, anyhow, the bunny insert for the finished truck and um, again I'm going to post that 
into the uh, group for the vintage red truck. Um, so anybody that has purchased that or does in the future will have have that on how to paint that. And again, you can change it up any color you want. And, um, you know, uh, maybe you want, like I said, your bunny, you, you don't want your bunny to be white. You want it to be a different color. So that's up to you. But it's just a, a darling little thing. I just love, love the vintage truck. And uh, the rabbit is just cute in there as ever. I just love it. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. And uh, I hope the instructions was helpful to you. Again, like I said, one of the things I always say anyhow is you, you paint things the way you want. I'm going to show you how I did it. And you can learn from that. And uh, maybe there's something you're just not sure of. But you can learn from that and do it your way. So if you have any uh, questions, feel free to put some comments in there. Let me know. Like I said, say hi, even if you join later after the live. Um, and let me know again your favorite color for your Easter eggs. I'd love to hear that. Um, so again, I will see you again. And uh, be sure to watch out for my next uh, painting party coming up. I've got a live one coming up December 3rd. I'm going to be doing the Volkswagen vibes, Christmas vibes, uh, the Volkswagen van. And then we're going to do another night on the, the third. We're going to do the van. And then the fourth we're going to do of December. We're going to do the Volkswagen bug, one of my favorites. Um, each one, you can add your own little twist. So uh, be sure uh, to watch for that on my page, Chill with Amy, and join up for that. That would be great to have you for that. So again, I'll see you then.